Hi everyone and welcome back to my art journal prompt. I'm not going to say Sunday because it is Wednesday today? No, it's Thursday today. So we're way off Sunday. Uh, either way you look at it, we're nowhere near Sunday. I'm using a different uh, tripod. I'm using one of those teeny tiny ones from the dollar store because I went to the art cabin to get all the stuff that I was going to work on and I forgot to bring the little thing for my tripod so I'm like I didn't feel like trudging back out there so I hope this angle will be good for you guys to um, to see what I'm doing so I took some pages out of a sketchbook so I've cut them out I'm just going to glue them in and never underestimate the strength of a good old glue stick. So what I wanted to talk about today was I heard this woman on YouTube. I was just watching. I don't even know how I got to her video, but you know how sometimes you do that? You're just looking at different videos and one brings you to the next, which brings you to the next. And I came across this woman's video. Wish I had saved it. I wish I had favorited it because I could have put a link in the down bar and I didn't do either one of those things. But anyway, this woman was talking about her life and um, how her and her husband had started off very, very wealthy and they had a real estate company and they were doing awesome, just awesome. And then with the, um, you know, with the downfall of everything with economic breakdown, they lost their business, they lost their house, and then doesn't she get struck with breast cancer? And she said she couldn't have got through it without her husband, he was her rock, he was her everything. And uh, so she got through her breast cancer, they found a little apartment, and they have children, and they're all happy and everything. And then doesn't her husband come down with, I think it was lung cancer and she's it was either lung cancer or throat cancer and he had never smoked a day in his life and it was such a rapidly uh, growing cancer that once they discovered it he was dead within like six weeks so here she is coming from this high affluent life to practically being homeless and her husband having cancer herself and then her husband getting cancer on top of it all and passing away. And it doesn't end there. Not while I'm talking on a pink background with black gesso. After her husband's funeral and he passed away and everything, she discovered another lump. And this time it is in... Her, that's right, it's her throat right now. Because he had lung cancer, so it's in her throat stage 3 throat cancer. So the breast cancer had metastasized now to her throat. This woman was the most graceful in the sense that living with grace, just the way she was talking, I was mesmerized by her. It wasn't that she was an eloquent speaker or anything, but just the way she told and shared her story. No pity party, just, you know, this is my story, this is what's happening to me, and I believe this happens to us for a reason. And while she was telling her story, she referred to all of these things as growing pains in our life, and that we all go through them. And then it just got me thinking about, that is so true, you know? We learn, we grow, whatever our experience is, we grow from it and we don't know what the next day is going to bring but as long as you kind of learn from the experience good bad or otherwise you are always growing from it you're always growing and um i'm really sorry that i didn't save the link i'll try and find it again and if i can i will um put it in the down bar but she just was such an inspirational, inspirational woman. And you know how they say, reach one, teach one, or teach one, reach one? But basically what that means is 
you learn something, you pass it on, you know. Act like you're going on a ride. You don't know what's coming around the curve. We don't know what life's going to bring us. And um, just buckle in. Make sure you're buckled in. And not enjoy the ride, but just expect a ride of ups and downs and twists and turns. You don't know where they're going to bring you. Speaking of twists and turns, this thing looks like a mini Afro pick. I'll wipe it off. I got it at Delta Art Supply Store. It's by Catalyst. And it's like this little mini brush. They had a whole bunch of them with different um, teeth on them. Some of them look like a comb. So I thought, I'm not going to buy that because you could just use a comb. So to me, this was the most unusual looking. It almost looks like scallops. So I'm just going to drizzle it around the page like that and let this dry. You can see those little scratchy marks that I used my um, little reiki thing. A couple of reasons why I love these silicone tools. I've got one here, got another one here, and I've got a smaller one somewhere else because they clean up so, so, so well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to the raised marks that I, I achieved from that. See, I dried it with my heat gun so they're all dry. I'm going to take this gold metallic paint and I'm just going to pour a little bit on this paper. kind of made myself a little paper boat here. I pour some on the paper. I'm going to dry brush it over, um, over top of these little ridges. Kind of raise up those little ridges a little bit. Like that. So yes, yeah, so like I was saying, it's all about growing and learning and growing pains and realizing even in the depths of that woman's devastatingly bad news after news after news she's still managing she had makeup on she's doing a video on YouTube and sharing her story and giving others inspiration and I just totally admire her or anybody else that is in that situation. So I'm going to let this dry and I will be back. That looks really neat. Really cool. So you can see the cool um, background effect that it gave and it's all raised up. I was working on a um, uh, you know those heating bags that you use when you have a sore neck or whatever? Well, we have one, and it's got um, flaxseed in it. And it's been heated and heated and heated in the microwave so much. That, and one time it got burnt. So you can see this hole here. So today I was doing a whole bunch of mending. So I snipped that off and then re-seamed it. And I was going to throw that away. And I thought, no, this is going to be a perfect contrast on this dark page. And I'm going to make my tree trunk. So I'm just going to be cutting this out and piecemealing some kind of tree trunk here. So, yeah. So like I was saying, we need to realize that when we're going through stressful situations, horrible situations, devastating situations, that they are in fact growing pains. And um, we all go through them. Some not as tragic as others, thank goodness, but it's a part of life. And it's so sad when you see and hear of people, you know, going through these horrible... It's always, you hear, well, I would have never thought that. I would have never expected that from that person or that, you know, that couple. Or I'm just going to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing down here. I would have never thought that because, you know, we spend so much of our time trying to live in this, like, acting like we never have growing pains. We never experience growing pains. That's not going to happen to us. And in fact, if we would share our growing pains, no matter what they are, it doesn't have to be cancer, but certainly there's a lot of people that if they're broke, and especially like around the holiday times, there's no way they're going to tell you, I'm broke. 
But, you know, if they did, then you could have different idea for Christmas or do something different. You know what I mean? Like, it's a growing pain. It's a, it's a, everybody goes through them. Everybody. I can't think of any. And if someone says they don't, they're delusional because everyone does. Can you see how I'm pleating this trunk? Trying to give it a little bit more texture than I'm going to try. I don't want to lose this cool part that's all burnt. Plus, funnily enough, this is part of my growing pains because I swear I have used this rice bag for that face pain I have. Oh my goodness, so much. It has given me so much relief, but it's a reminder that that too is a grunt pain. And I think those uh, people that realize that you go through growing pains like that woman and are able to tell their story are living a more honest life, living a more honest, um, you know, just living in truth, living their truth and and telling their truth and just being so open like I'm sure when her um, family lost her home and all of that, it must have been devastating. But being able to say, yeah, this is our story, this is our truth, this is it, and that's the way it is, is so much more stress relieving than trying to pretend. So um, I think we need to all realize we go through growing pains. I don't care what age you are. Teenagers all the way up. Growing pains is usually um, a term used for, you know, young people when they're growing. But it happens to all of us. We all experience them. Different times in our life. Different ways. But as long as you can live your truth and live in truth, then the, the pain isn't so devastating, as it were. And again, to use that analogy... It's not always the best thing to put a band-aid on it and pretend it's not there. I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and stitch this up so I get those little pleaty things I'm trying to get. Hope it works. So I'm just going to piecemeal a tree here. So you can see where I sewed the pleaty part down and I uh, used blue thread, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that up. I'm going to use fabric tack glue. I don't care if my tree's a little crooked. And I sort of pieced out some branches here out of this stuff. It's amazing what you can use. Seriously. This was burnt heat bag, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> and put that there. And then the seam to the bag, I cut out the seam because I love the gnarliness of it. So I think I will put that like that and let that be the third branch. You know, a branch has a Y in it, sort of, ish. So all of this stuff that I'm talking about, about true, be, living in your truth, growing pains, all of that, it always speaks to things will be better the next day or in the near future or just hang in there. It's gonna be the way it's supposed to be and don't despair um, just have faith which is my word for the year just trust and you know um, this too shall pass it all comes back to the same old thing that it's the growing pains that are causing us to stress and worry but just know that this too shall pass. Hope and pray and do everything that you can to weather that storm. And um, in a day anything can change. It's so sad when you you hear all these stories about people that just can't see or know that the sun will come up tomorrow. Know that if they just shared, if they told their story, their honest story, Somebody out there is going to listen to you. Trust people. Live in your truth. Be truthful. And hey, the people that are in your tribe will be there for you. It's so funny how 
the synchronicity of things. Like I was going to be doing this page anyway. And then I was just kind of, you know, looking through Facebook. Um, sounds like all I am on the, is on the internet, looking through YouTube, looking through Facebook. But anyway, that's my truth. <laughs> and I found this beautiful quote, and it said, We are born in one day. We die in one day. We can change in one day. And we can fall in love in one day. Anything can happen in just one day. So I thought, isn't that true? And doesn't that speak to your growing pains? And, you know, the next day could turn around and something could happen. So reach Somebody would reach out to help you before you give up, you know. So, yeah. And that's what that woman was saying. She was just, throughout her... Um, talking and her inspirational talk, she was just saying just that, at how many people had reached out to help them. I mean, they could have chosen to just give up completely. I mean, she, they lose their business, they lose their house, she gets cancer, then he gets cancer, he dies, and then she gets cancer and is living with cancer right now. She has a bazillion reasons to just give up. But Anything can happen in just one day. Anything can change. And so she's got faith, living with faith, and knowing that I'm just going to live my truth and um, the universe will unfold as it's going to unfold. Um, you get junk mail all the time. And I always get junk mail from Mac. And so this came. It was a, a fantasy of flowers, really pretty. So I cut it out, and I'm going to crumple it up and put it on this side of the page. That was one of the reasons why I used black. Um, even originally I was using black because I wanted to pop it with some color. And little did I know the color would just arrive in my mailbox this morning for me. So this speaks to growing pains. Sometimes they're gnarly, difficult, literally painful emotionally and physically. And that's my gnarly old tree, but it, it's getting me through. And the fact that this tree was my heating bag is incredible because it really got me through. So when I go look back on this, that's going to mean a lot to me. But you know what? Anything can happen in just one day. You can drop a seedling and a little flower can, can bloom. Or another a seedling and another tree can start blossoming and it's a whole nother story isn't it so I am just going to sort of emulate that over here and how the little shoot grows out of our little tree I'm on to my iPad filming because I ran out of memory in my camera so you can really see it close up. So the last element I'm going to add to my page are um, chipboard letters. Uh, we all have a plethora of multicolored chipboard letters. So um, I peeled off the, see how this one is green? That I kept the green but on all the other letters, some are blue, some are red, I peeled off that top cover because I wanted naked chipboard. So I'm just going to glue down the words growing pains and they're random sizes and some are green and some are naked. So here is my finished page. I don't know why I talk that slow. <laughs> but anyway what I did here is I journaled with a sharpie pen. That's why I love them. These ones, these ultra fine sharpies. Fantastic. I journaled on that torn up tattered cloth and I said this remnant of fabric was taken from the worn faithful rice bag that brought me comfort. So years from now when that rice bag is tossed out I still have a little piece of it. So you can see closely how I pleated it and added that seam. Then I've got the date right there January 30th 2014. Those little cabochons and you can see the background very nicely. Over here there is that quote, we are born in one day, we die in one day, we can change in one day, and we can fall in love in one day. Anything can happen in one day. And I took a little bit of that leftover gold paint, I had scrunched this up, 
because originally it looked like this from the MAC ad. I scrunched it up and so where the scrunchy creases are I rubbed that gold paint on there and curled the edges in and added a few more of those pretty flowers and some fabric. And there is our word growing pains. Around the outline of the tree where I, I just used green acrylic paint for that I used a pit pin, thick one, and uh, yeah, it's got the brush end on it, this one. And you can see there how it kind of finishes off your painting. It just, there it's not. You can see because it's on the edge of the page. But you can see how it just, even though it's black on black, it still gives a nice crisp edge to your painting. Everyone has growing pains. We all have them. Some, unfortunately, way more than others and way more pain than others do. But you know what? Be brave and share your pain with others. Talk about it. People want to hear you. They want to help you. They want to support you. I know sometimes, because I know when I'm in pain, I feel like, oh, maybe I won't tell anybody today. But when you do, you get support back. And sometimes it's like ripping the Band-Aid off and it opens the floodgates and you start crying. But you're letting some of that pain out and you're letting somebody share the shoulders, shoulder some of that with you. And just like it says here, anything can happen in one day. Just keep the faith and we won't get any more burdens than we can possibly bear. That woman on YouTube, the one who, who uh, inspired me to do this video, is true testament of that. So I hope you guys like this page. I wanted to play around with some black gesso as a background. It really makes the color pop. I like the fabric, and I was originally just going to leave these um, branches, but they look too depressing. It looked like, you know, a dead tree in the winter, and that wasn't the theme I wanted to, to pass along. I wanted to see that we grow, but it's okay. We have growing pains, and we're all going to be okay. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye!